Welcome to 3 Minute Mechanic, where we make the long and tedious fast and easiest. Today we got our hands on a Tesla Model 3. We're going to see how far this battery can go. Our voyage is starting in Washington, D.C., where we have a plethora of charging stations, and heading south to Charlotte, North Carolina, where things aren't as convenient and a little spread out. Luckily, using the in-car navigation as well as the Tesla app, we can see exactly where each charging station is and how much battery we'll have when we get there. This trip will be an estimated 800 miles round trip. Now let's get charging. During our first stop, I can see here it takes 45 minutes to supercharge. In the meantime, what can I do? Well, here we have lots of options between Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and even video games. Before you know it, you'll be all caught up on your three minute mechanic videos and ready to hit the road. After a couple charges, we've arrived at our destination and we're going to go ahead and see what it's like to plug in the Tesla 3 at home in your garage. In the trunk of your vehicle, you should have a mobile charging connector. This is as easy as plugging in an extension cord. It'll come with two pieces and they snap in just like this. After you hear it snap into place, you can plug it in the wall like you would anything else. Then go to your Tesla and pop open your charger port, plug it in, and you'll see the light blink. Now we see that we ran into a major issue. You have to make sure that the charger is connected to an outlet that has 240 volts. Here, we're only using one kilowatt an hour because the outlet is not suitable for charging a Tesla. Now that we have this problem on our hands, we better get to an actual supercharging station. Lucky for us, there's one not that far away and we should get there with 16% battery. Upon arrival, we found a lot of open charging stations as well as other drivers getting a charge. Each charging station that I went to, I noticed they were in popular areas with shopping malls, which proves convenient and also a great way to run errands while you wait. As predicted, our Tesla was right. We have 16% battery left and we're ready to charge. Always be sure to reverse far enough so that the connector reaches the charging port. As we can see inside, things are moving quite a bit faster at 136 kilowatts. This means we should be done supercharging in about 40 minutes. But you do not have to charge all the way. You can stop at any time. After 20 minutes of charging, we decided to stop. We got from 17% to 69% for just $9. Once you unlock your charging port, you can then remove the connector and replace it into the charging station. Fits like a glove. Throughout the entirety of our trip, I enjoyed the self-driving capabilities of the Tesla and never found it an issue when it comes to charge. The 353 mile range of the battery was perfect for my needs and I only had to stop a couple times. I was very impressed with the infrastructure in place at each stop. Now let's put this electricity to the test and have some fun. Go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this electrified episode of 3 Minute Mechanic. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll be seeing you on the next one and as always drive